Let's talk about video. An entirely new category of video now exists, and it's being made by creators. All of this change is super exciting, but we think there are a handful of problems. Think about it. Today we still watch videos formatted for a TV on a vertical screen, which means we either have to rotate our phone awkwardly or watch a tiny little version, and that doesn't make much sense, does it? All of these problems made us think that you deserve better, and it's time for video to move forward and to evolve. And we built something brand new. Do you guys want to know what it is? We call it IGTV. So you're probably asking yourselves, what the hell did this fool do to get so many views on IGTV in just that two week period? However, I will tell you this. Now, I was just as shocked as maybe you are because you're probably looking at either my YouTube channel or maybe you've seen my Instagram already and you're like, well, this dude doesn't have many followers or stick with me. Let me just put you here and we're good. Salutations everybody and welcome back to my channel. If uh, you're new here, hold on, it's hot. I'm a social media content producer that has dedicated this channel to support your video quality. And today I'm doing things a little different because I'm talking about Instagram. Instagram TV to be exact. And yes, this is not clickbait. I did get over 50,000 views on my Instagram TV channel within the last two weeks. You can feel free to check for yourself. Follow me here at Access Benjamin. And from there, you can take a look at the content, study that, take a look at the descriptions, and more importantly, take this video and apply it, hopefully, to your IGTV channel. So I'm not an Instagram marketer. I do run my own social media production company and I do know enough about Instagram to at least attract attention to the video ads that I provide for my clients. That's pretty much about it. So just consider me one of you because I am. And in essence, there were four things. Let me get a close up because this is important. And in essence, there were four things that I did strategically to get that many views on Instagram TV. So let's go through those now. Number one, I created original content for the platform itself. I will say this, I have been a huge advocate and just a big fan of vertical video and vertical filmmaking. I even market myself as a vertical filmmaker to clients. There are so many reasons why vertical video is such a thing. Maybe I'll do another video about that. But when I talk about original content, I, yeah, shot everything vertically. I didn't just take an existing YouTube video and crop it into nine by 1600 and call it a day. I have 10 videos on Instagram TV right now. And I think I only did that to about three of those videos, but I completely cropped and transformed those videos frame by frame. And yes, that's a crap ton of work. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that unless you have a short video, just FYI. So why the hell did I do frame by frame? Well, because you need to optimize appropriately for good center framing. Vertical video is all about center framing. You can still use the rule of thirds and when applicable, I recommend you do so. However, center framing is literally the key to vertical video. But along with just shooting vertically, I also kept the creativity, the stylistic approach in mind to keep it vertical as well. What could I do with a 900 by 1600 aspect ratio? And my shot selection even had the intent to go vertical as well. And my editing even consisted of triple transform images. You don't have much real estate to try to tell a story or grab the attention of your audience. So you kind of have to be, well, creative. So the second thing that I did. So with any social media platform, you have to upload multiple times a week to get some attention to any algorithm, including Instagram, especially Instagram. And that's exactly what I did. I uploaded three videos a week. Now these videos I call or market vertical films because well, that's what they are. I essentially try to make a story you know, vertically. Instagram has also made this easy to upload in general because they're now allowing us to upload from our desktops, which has been amazing. I I'm just saying. So the third thing, I put just as much time and effort on IGTV videos that I did with YouTube videos. So the details you provide in your video are super powerful for a couple reasons. One in which I created custom thumbnails for the videos. If you're looking at my Instagram, I did miss two videos and that was a mistake. And yeah, now it's just black and it 
sucks. The other thing is I put a synopsis of the story I was telling in that video in the description. Consider it just a little paragraph describing what your story is about so people can watch it. So why not spend the extra time to describe what these people are going to watch? That way I don't waste their time. And the other thing that I've totally seen people not doing, hashtags, 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 like hashtags. They hold just as much SEO power on IGTV than they do on Instagram across the board. They make you searchable. Okay, sidebar. So I've taken you into my little corner here to tell you that, well, let's give you a pro tip. When it comes to a hashtag strategy, well, you need to have a hashtag strategy. For instance, don't be a needle in a haystack and use hashtags like hashtag video, which has like 38 million posts. Because if you're someone like me who has over 4,000 followers, or if you have less than that, you're not gonna get ranked with that hashtag and you're definitely not gonna be seen, but it's super important. So you need to use hashtags that give you a chance. So take a look at your following. And if you have a thousand followers, try to find hashtags that aren't above 20,000 or 10,000. And that gives you a better chance of being searched on Instagram and it gives you a better chance, more importantly, to be seen because I know you're creating amazing content. It's just a disservice if people don't watch it. Trust me, I know. Hopefully that makes sense on Blurry, I know. And I did mention external links. So if you have a website, maybe your YouTube channel, maybe you can use IGTV as a trailer teaser for your YouTube videos. I don't know, just the possibilities are endless and Instagram did us an amazing favor. They allowed everyone to have this ability. Quite frankly, I didn't think they would. Dope. Let's get to the last thing I did because I want to make this video short. This isn't like my normal highly crazy edited productions and... But you're still providing value. That's true. Promotion. Promote your videos. How did I do that? Well, I think the better question is why did I do that? You see, for whatever reason, Instagram's algorithm has ants in its pants. So the majority of the good that comes out of whatever you upload on Instagram, videos, stories, posts, whatever, comes within the first hour. So you need to do whatever you can to get as much attention to your video within the first hour. And yes, that also applies to your Instagram feed and your stories. So as soon as I posted any one of the videos on my IGTV channel, I made sure to DM all of my closest peeps, whether it's in the form of family members, close friends, or those who actually follow you, you do have a connection with. I didn't spam them, I just simply messaged them and said, hey, I would appreciate it if you check out this video. Let me know your thoughts on it. This is the story about X, Y, or Z. And that actually did really well for me. So I raked up a good amount of views just by doing that. But again, don't be spammy because Instagram will catch on to that. She's a smart mother level, you know what I'm saying? I also uploaded my videos at the prime times in which my followers are most active on Instagram, which you're probably already doing anyway, but look in your analytics if you're not. You can then look at the days and the hours in which your following was most engaged with your content and just keep posting at that time. That's not a new one, but you know, it helped. And for the next one, let's bring it in. So for the next one, I want you to understand something. I want you to understand that social media is a very big advertising platform. And at the end of the day, social media is a business. Like, you know, why do you think it's free? So if you ever heard the term pay to play, that really is true, which is a good preface to the next thing I did, which was Facebook ads. I have a pretty decent following on both Facebook and Instagram, nothing extravagant or anything. But what I did for some of my vertical films on my Instagram TV channel is I made feed videos with kind of little teasers in my feed and I boosted those on Instagram and on Facebook. And what that does is allows your post to be seen by more your followers because, well, if you haven't known this, your post does not get shown to all of your followers. Vertical video, vertical filmmaking, that's not really a thing on Facebook. It's, they're trying to make vertical more of a thing. They put stories on Facebook, which, I don't know, that's just a duplication. But when I actually created a generic Facebook ad, that worked really well. Because at the end of the day, the video got shown to more people. But yes, I did pay for it. I didn't spend much. I'll have to look, but maybe in the two weeks, I maybe spent $100? They didn't run long because I was trying to maximize the first hour of posting. I had to try to time the Facebook ad versus my upload and that was confusing, but it did work. And the last thing, when I said about hustle earlier, I contacted a bunch of influencers, a bunch of big Instagrammers, particularly within my niche, which is videography and filmmaking. I messaged like at least 200 people and I actually was able to either work with or collaborate with about 15 of them. So this is influencer marketing. It's the same thing I do for my clients. In some cases, people wanted money, in other cases, I was able to exchange work for a shout out, which was cool. So I'm now doing some video edits for a couple of influencers. And in return, they shouted me out on their stories. But at the end of the day, I did get what I needed. So um, hashtag hustle.
But yeah, to sum it up, that's all I did. 50,000 views in two weeks may not be a big deal to some, it's definitely a big deal for me. But what shocked me the most was I did that in two weeks on a brand new platform. And yes, I did upload the first day and the second day. Tell a story, take advantage of vertical filmmaking. I consider it a throwback. I consider it something that we all used to see a lot on YouTube, where this was very annoying and these bars were just stupid. But now there's a platform. Now there is attention towards vertical video. Because think about it, how are you consuming video on Instagram and Facebook? Certainly not on your laptop. Bingo, on your mobile device. Vertical video takes up more real estate on your display. Honestly, the biggest thing that I can tell you is my vertical films shared a story and they were also very personal. One of my first vertical films was telling the story of the day I met my second child. And a few other ones show my relationship between my oldest son and myself. Whether it's us playing or getting in trouble or doing things that, well, mom says we're not supposed to. I tell those stories because I do want people to interact with me as a person. So I think combining all that into like one formula has worked out pretty good for me. Again, I'm not a huge Instagram person. You know, take a look at my account, but watch the videos. See how personal I get. See how well I tell a story. Some may agree that I tell a story while some may not, and that's okay. At the end of the day, I just want to make people feel something. Something better than themselves, something better than their day, something just better. And if you do feel inclined, I would love to have you as a follower on Instagram to check out the videos. If this video did provide you some value, smash that like button for me. Subscribe for more videos kind of like this. I mean, I mainly do videography tutorials and videos about video gear and vlogs. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next one. Maybe something like this. I don't know. Peace. An entirely new category of video now exists. It's being made by creators.